it. <laughs> Chuck chat time. <laughs> hey, Mary. Hey, Ray. How y'all doing? Hey, Dink. I may be, I may be way behind on chat. Um, I've, I've chatted with a lot of people on the keyboard before we started. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Steve, you learned about Drew. Somebody named Steve. I, I should have known it wasn't you because you don't go by Steve in the, in the chat. Everybody's been wanting to know there was somebody named Steve who brought Drew to our attention. And uh, everybody's been saying it was somebody named Steve who mentioned him in the comments, and I didn't really pay attention. But uh, I know we have, you know, probably several subscribers named Steve. I know there's another named Steve Hammond. I don't know if he'll be in here today. I know we have, oh, whoops. You know, Let me turn this down. Several subscribers named Steve Hammond. Oh, yeah, I'm trying... I'm trying vertical live streaming tonight. I'll probably never do it again from home on Wednesday night. All right, so I've already said hi to Three Stacks and Hybrid Hustler and Dashing Dink and Matt Dogs and Jack. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can. Oh, there's Big Carl. Hey, Big Carl. Hey, Fran. Man, the whole gang's here. Hey, Stu. Hey, Faith. I mean, it's really the whole gang. I've already said hi to Mary, I think. All right, let's see if I can catch up here. Well, I'll never catch up, probably. I wonder if it's easier. <laughs> Hannah, what's going on, Hannah? I saw Mr. Church just, I just got a Mr. Church notification right before I went live. Hey, Chris, what's going on? Oh, there's Mr. Church. He's in here. <laughs> Man, the gang's all here. Hannah, I haven't missed any uh, content from you, have I? You haven't put any out, have you? any content? Um, all right, let's see if I can kind of get reasonably caught up with this chat. I kind of, this is driving me crazy. I've, I'm trying something different, y'all. I've, I've tried lots of different combinations of different rooms in the house, different chairs. Um, I've streamed from uh, tablets and I don't know if I've ever streamed from the GoPro on Wednesday night, but anyway, uh, oh no, uh, three stacks. There's tons of, uh, tons of merch available. I just picked two to highlight for the live stream. Oh, and Badger. Hey, Becca, uh, Badger. Once I set up the live stream, I don't have any way to add anybody. If you were talking about like coming on video on the live stream with me, I'd be happy for you too, Badger sometime but once i've set it up I, I would have to end the live stream and set up a new one and select go live together and then i can invite people on um but at this point there's there's no way to do it if that's what you were asking about um i just saw gig gal there's our buddy jen just jen man it's like the whole crew here y'all this is awesome <laughs> um oh but anyway i'm trying this from my phone and I found a, uh, a windshield mount that sticks to this marble desk here, marble table or whatever that I'm sitting in front of. And it seems to be holding it pretty well, uh, pointing right at me. But um, <laughs> if I try to read the chat, scroll the chat, this thing shakes a lot. I don't know if that's getting on y'all's nerves. <laughs> Man, we got everybody up in here. This is great. Did I, I said hi to Becca, didn't I? I think I did. And good gal. Well, how y'all doing, y'all? Y'all think I'm going to make it to a million before, or by Saturday? It's going to be tight. Um, <laughs> just end it real quick. Everybody can wait. <laughs> end it real quick and start a new one. <laughs> How about next week, Badger? Send me an email We'll uh, and remind me. We'll put you on. I don't mind people put, putting people on the uh, the live with me. That'd be fun. No, get gal, is your AR really 17? Holy cow. 
I, uh, Howie, I don't talk about politics. Um, just because I want everybody to feel welcome and I don't want people getting into big fights. No, um, I don't care if you talk about politics in the chat, but I, I'm not going to engage in politics. Hey, Bailey Dodd, how you doing? Hey, Sonia Scott. I hope I haven't missed anybody, y'all. Yeah, all your friends are here. <laughs> oh, and by the way, y'all, um, so I had a video scheduled to go public at 6 p.m. this evening, you know, which is what I like to do. And about 7 p.m., I noticed that it had not gone public. And I'm like, what? And so I poked around and realized that uh, I had scheduled it to go public at 6 p.m. tomorrow evening. So I, real quick, I went in and just made it public. Um, so that's why it was 7. Hey, F. Herrick, what's going on, buddy? All the way up in Maine. Wait, what are we going to do? We're going to take a, ch a shot every time. Chuck says, thank you for your business. <laughs> uh, friend, it's going to be so close. By the way, the update, y'all. Whoa, Gig Gal, you're crazy. <laughs> thank you, Gig Gal. I just glanced over at the, at the tablet over here and saw the super chat. Thank you, Gig Gal. You're nuts, though. You, you've got a loose screw in your head. Um, so here's the deal. The latest update is we've got, and, and YouTube only updates this once a day, as far as I can tell. And it's like sometime when I'm asleep at night. So when I wake up in the morning, I have new numbers as far as lifetime views and all. And uh, we're at right at 974,000 views. And Saturday will be the anniversary of the first video we ever uploaded. And I know we got a bunch of views. We got like over 6,000 views on the live stream today. Plus, you know, regular videos are getting views. And this live stream's getting some views. So what's going to happen is tomorrow I'm going to wake up and I'm going to see that our total views are at about 985,000 I'm hoping for could be as low as 982,000 or something. Um, but either way, we'll have three days to try to get 15 to 18,000 views. That's very doable. If I go live while I'm dashing every single day for the next three days and y'all it's killing me, it's wearing me out. I'm an old man and I'm tired. <laughs> Power verse. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. You've, hey, and you know, while we're discussing it, you know, if, if, if you wanted to just try to help boost us to a million views, I don't know how long you have to watch a video for it to count as a view. Maybe 30 seconds, maybe a minute, maybe somebody could Google it. Um, Drew told me he thinks it's 30 seconds. Uh, I wonder if Steve knows. Steve knows a lot more about YouTube than I do. Hey, Howie. But anyway, so if you want to go back and watch old videos, maybe just watch 30 seconds or a minute of each video or something. <laughs> that might help. I suppose I could watch my own videos for 30 seconds and try to boost my own views. But anyway, I think if, if I don't collapse from exhaustion, um, I, I think if I go live... Uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday for three hours while I'm dashing or whatever. Um, and somebody, I wish I could remember who it was, suggested um, and during the live stream in the chat today, why don't you just do some chilled out lives at night, you know, where you're not stressed out trying to deliver food. That was a pretty good idea. I, I'll just have to see how many views this live stream gets um, compared to the ones I do when I'm out dashing. But anyway, maybe we'll make it. Um, maybe we won't. I don't know. But I won't really know until I wake up on the 14th because uh, that's when I'll see the, the update. Hey, thank you, Mary. Been sharing videos to my DoorDash groups on Facebook. That's awesome. <laughs> Earned by time should be a crime. I like that because it rhymes. Sounds like a political slogan. Earned by time should be a crime. Hey, there's Texas Beach Girl back. 
I left a comment on today's video that might help with the algorithm. Cool. Thank you, man. Texas beach girl. You've been, <laughs> you've been live with us all day long. <laughs> no comment, Matt dogs, no politics out of my mouth. Um, Hey, there's the killer. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> Matt's not shy. <laughs> Thank you, three stacks. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh man, we're we're really doing the politics in the chat tonight. Half hour before Chuck would be a good time since nobody is usually live before Chuck. Oh, oh yeah, for your latest. It, it was just like an edited video, right, Mr. Church, I think. I saw it pop up. I'll watch it. I will eventually watch it. Faith, uh, hold on to Chuck and make the one million views. Not yet, Faith. It's going to be, I'm telling you, Faith, if it happens, it's going to happen, you know, probably on Saturday. Maybe Friday, but uh, probably Saturday. Uh, it's going to be close, y'all. I'm biting my nails over here. Not that it matters. It's a silly thing. You know, it doesn't mean anything. Uh, YouTube's not going to send me a bonus check or anything. It, I just think it would be kind of fun to be able to say that the channel got a million views in one year. <laughs> hey, Ray's AR is up to 6% on DoorDash. <laughs> Three stacks is shouting out his little cuz. Is Nisi's in here? How did I miss her? There she is. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, Nisi's. Yes, Jack was first in the chat for sure. <laughs> and he said, guess what I'm doing? I'm pretty sure I know what he's doing. He's, he's always getting baked, I think. May F. Eric, maybe door dashing is a good job for people with loose screws in their heads. Yeah. That ain't no lie. I hate to, uh, man, it sure is easier to look over here in the chat. But then I'm not looking at the camera. That ain't cool. <laughs> hey, there's Braided Lady I see over there. Don't push it if you get there next week. It really, no, it doesn't make any difference. It doesn't make any difference. If we hit a million views, you know, three or four days after the first anniversary, it would make no difference. But I just kind of want to do it. <laughs> what does it say? Tamara Ann? Hey, Tamara Ann. Head it to your second Tuesday live. <laughs> I think you meant Wednesday, Tamara Ann. Uh, Brandon Lady, there she is. Good luck getting to a million. I appreciate it, Brady Lady. Okay, so when I mounted this phone right here, I thought it would thought it would be kind of a good angle, but I didn't think about scrolling on the phone. This is getting on my nerves. Mr. Church, you warming up the crowd. You're the opening act. <laughs> yes, Jack, you want a set of steak knives. <laughs> the honey hole video. Um, wait, mine? I'm trying to think. The, <laughs> you're talking about my very first ever time I recorded myself? <laughs> yeah. Y'all, that was a sweet honey hole, I'm telling you. I, I don't know if any of y'all watched it, but at the end, I told you I made 80 something dollars and put a total of 26 miles on the car. Uh, actually, it was a pickup truck, Honda Ridgeline back then. Uh, did you get your 12 hours in? Matt? Matt's probably still going. He's probably still delivering right now. Hey, Cabell Roach, have you ever used the timestamp app? No, I haven't. I have not. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I've got to go live twice a day. I might, hey, I might, if I'm, if I'm right there, just under a million, I might do it. Who knows? Um, 
I'm pretty sure that DoorDash, because I had the one contract violation, you know, and I disputed it, and DoorDash removed it based on their own information about my GPS whereabouts and all that, not based on the picture I took. Um, they just saw on their GPS that I went right straight to that apartment where I was supposed to deliver, and they determined from that that I did deliver it. So I don't know, y'all. My theory, my latest theory is the pictures you take of the drop-offs don't matter. I don't think they matter. Um, I think uh, DoorDash would, wouldn't allow me to submit any kind of proof. You know, I had not, not only pictures, but I had video evidence. They didn't want to see that. They just went back to their GPS data, saw that I went right straight to the guy's apartment and determined from that that I did deliver the order. Uh, if we all turn off YouTube and come back on, does that double your views? <laughs> I don't know. Probably if you just, I, I'm not suggesting you do this, but probably if you just clicked off of this live stream and then came back, it might, it might double the views. I don't know. But don't, anyway, don't worry about that, y'all. It's, you know, there are, what, 84 of us in here. That wouldn't amount to anything. Uh, but, uh, you know, I don't know. I think it might happen. I think we've got a good shot at it. <laughs> you can do it, buddy Chuck. It's temporary. You can rest next week. I know. And I, and I probably will. I'll probably take a little bit of time off next week. Y'all are probably getting tired of seeing me all the time. Um, <laughs> you know, with all the live streams and edited videos and all that, y'all could probably use a break from me. Collaborate with an attractive woman. I don't know what OF means. Um, and you'll get the views. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> they do have certain advantages over us. Uh, so push it if you get there next week. Yeah, oh yeah, I read that already. And you're right, Braided Lady. It's not anything that's really important. Oh, and by the way, I'm glad, um, Fran, when you said that about Wes, I'm glad you said that because it just reminded me, if we do hit the million views by Saturday, think about all the guest stars we've had and how many views their videos got. We wouldn't be hitting a million views on Saturday if it weren't for all of you guest stars. What if we had about about 20 guest stars and um you know that's that's 20 30 000 views right there that we wouldn't have so thank you to the guest stars for making it possible nieces you say was me i'm not sure i've i've lost the plot here don't overdo it thank you lc i appreciate it i'll try not to i mean you know I'm being a little bit of a baby about it. I work three hours a day, um, but I don't know. It's, this is all just wearing me out, y'all. <laughs> Chris, if you watch for like 30 seconds, YouTube thinks it's a bad video and won't show it to new people. Good point. I hadn't thought about that. What does that say, Horror Fields? Hey, Horror Fields FS. Welcome to the live stream. Glad you're here. Pick a video and share it. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. Uh, maybe do several lives while dashing instead of one. Yeah. Yeah. Not a bad idea. That might, that might actually be a good idea. That might work. That might very well get three times the views. Interesting. Man, if I could get Wes to do anything I tell him to do, that would be wonderful. <laughs> I know um, I think it was Wesley who told me you know nearly a year ago a long long time ago that I need to set up a playlist of my videos and you know some people click on it and just let it play some people might fall asleep he said and sleep for eight hours with my videos play it. <laughs> I've just, I've never gotten around to the playlist thing. Uh, 
Oh, turn on the playlist when they leave the house. Heck yeah. <laughs> Good idea, Mr. Church. <laughs> Texas Beach Girl getting rain. I bet I'm going to get rain tomorrow. I haven't checked the forecast, but I heard they were getting rain in Atlanta, which means I'll get it the next day. Good gal, what you cooking? Cindy Conway, Devious Dasher turned me on to you. Well, that's very nice of Devious Dasher. He was our original guest star. He was the first guest star we ever had on Dashing Across America. <laughs> hey, Cindy, welcome to the live stream. Just ate some Chinese, man. That sounds good. I'm hungry, y'all. I've got some chicken salad in the fridge. I might snack a little after this is over. Ray says, I can't believe I have one short video that is going crazy on views. It's currently at 41,000. Holy cow. All about a road rage driver. Wow, 41,000 views. I've never gotten anywhere near that on any video. Hey, Lisa Robertson, how you doing? Hey, there's Stevie Stasher. There's Joss. You missed the first famous guest star earlier, hey, Chuck? <laughs> the gig father. I saw that you had... Josh, I was actually watching you uh, live when I fell asleep last night. I promise that's true. I just didn't ever say anything because I was so sleepy. I was falling asleep. and But I was watching you live, and you hit 500. And then I think maybe later you went back down to 499, which happens to all of us. I mean, it, that happens to everybody. But I hope you're solidly above 500 now. And do you, uh, Josh, TV Stasher, do you have... Uh, I don't know, whatever you need, watch hours or whatever, so that people could send you, you know, super thanks or super chats or whatever. That would be cool. Oh, Cajun Chicken Alfredo. That sounds good, Kit Gal. I can't, I've got round and round by rat going around in my head. I think that's what I attach to... Uh, the video that I edited today that I'll publish tomorrow. A, a, uh, a subscriber requested round and round by rat. So that'll tomorrow at 6 PM, that video, it'll start with round and round by rat. Hey, is Drew in here? He deleted somebody's message. <laughs> hey Drew, if you're in here, I wish y'all up. Is Steve Hammond in here? Oh, lots of people are getting timed out over here, I see. And I just see something about Pasmore. Knees doing a lot better. I mean, I know that the knees will never like, heal themselves. I mean, but Powerverse, I'll watch every video I haven't watched yet. Thank you, Powerverse. I appreciate it. It's an accomplishment. We all love you. Thank you, Niecy. I appreciate that. I love all y'all. Y'all made all this possible. That bonus check, but you will get an achievement. That's exactly right, good gal. They'll send me a little achievement in the YouTube studio app that says, way to go, you hit 1 million views. <laughs> People love your channel. <laughs> when you're feeling all road ragey, how do you get people to get out of your way if you're driving a Honda Fit? Yeah, good point. Honda Fit's not a very... Uh, <laughs> Not a very intimidating vehicle, is it? <laughs> That's a very good question, F. Eric. Y'all are funny. That's right. You got to set goals, don't you, Matt? I'm going to try to pull it off, y'all. I'm going to try to pull it off just because I think it'll be fun. I know, Chris. I, you know what? I thought about making a short today, and then I forgot. Um you know, I don't have any material to make shorts out. Well, I guess I could download it from YouTube and turn it into a short. But, you know, I delete all my video every day. Once it gets safely uploaded to YouTube, I delete all video files. I don't save any video files because I figure they're saved on, on uh, YouTube. But, yeah, the only way I could make a short would be to download one of my videos off of YouTube and 
and cut a little short out of there. But I thought about shorts today. Um, and I thought maybe I should make a few shorts because they, you know, they can hit and get thousands of views. That That is a great idea. Maybe I'll try to make a short or two before Saturday. Uh, Chris says make some shorts. Okay, that's one I just read. <laughs> yeah, y'all hear the poke snoring down there? Oh, and and when she's on her side, that means she's really out of it. That means she is in REM sleep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chuck, I've went back and watched all your videos. <laughs> Thank you, Cabell. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Yeah, that, by the way, that is, I don't think I said it, but congratulations, Josh, on the 500. That's cool. Now people can send you money. <laughs> of course, I did notice you've got your PayPal and your cash app. On, in the description, which is very smart. I was telling Wesley that if Wesley ever starts live streaming or making videos or whatever, I told him we'll go to to a Teespring or, or Spreadshop or something like that. We'll get him a few t-shirts made up that have his cash app across the front real big so that while people are watching his videos, it just has his cash app right there. They send him money if they want to. <laughs> Yeah, Debbie Freeze, a million anything is kind of a big deal, I guess. I was always cooking when my kids were little. Yep. I used to cook a lot before YouTube. <laughs> yeah, Braided Lady, I wish I could get Wesley to make videos. I, You know, I have hounded him so much. He just... He just has other interests besides making videos. Derping Flamingo. <laughs> I, I'm going to assume Derping Flamingo is talking to somebody else and not me. <laughs> yes, exactly, good gal. Everybody ought to be cooking their own food instead of spending money. <laughs> I know, good gal. It, it gets old, everybody telling me how pretty I am all the time. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, Gaming Minecraft, how you doing, buddy? Welcome back. <laughs> yep, I have fun with good gal telling her that I get so tired of people constantly in the chat telling me how beautiful I am. There's true. I knew he was in here somewhere because I saw he hit somebody on the head with a wrench. How long does it normally take you to edit your videos? About two hours usually, a couple of hours. It's, you know, it's a little bit of a pain. Just, I mean, mainly just the fact that it's time consuming. I don't mind doing it. I kind of enjoy doing it. It just, it's just time consuming. But yeah, usually about a couple hours a day, about two hours a day. Was was Drew just in here lurking and hitting people on the head with his wrench and not saying anything? That's funny. I think he might have been. <laughs> All right, so Matt's goal this week is to hit 300 a day, which would be 2,100. And so far, he's on target. Man. Man, that's a lot of gig work. Tamara Ann, my son is getting married on Sunday. All right, mazel tov. Kind of busy. Yeah, I hear you. I don't know what day it is. <laughs> and yes, you meant Wednesday. I hear you. I figured you meant Wednesday. Uh-oh, three stacks, dude. Thank you so much. I, he wants Three stacks wants to be like me when he grows up. Thanks for all you do. I really appreciate you, sir. I learn a lot. Thanks. That's awesome, Three Stacks. Thank you so much, buddy. And Three Stacks, we're going to meet up in Kingston one day when you get a, a run. Hey, and Three Stacks, by the way, I hope I see your answer at some point, but um, you you make these runs to uh, to Kingsland, like to Sherwin-Williams, I guess that's okay to say. 
Is that on an app, on a gig app? Is that like on Roadie or something like that, um, that you're delivering the, I guess, paint to... Uh... Okay, Pazmore is on vacation in Mexico City. Seems the vast majority of delivery drivers out here are on motorcycles. Yeah, I bet. I, I kind of always imagined that that they would be. And yes, it does make sense. Motorcycles are cheap and they get great gas mileage. Um, and y'all, was it today or yesterday? Um, somebody was in the live stream chat saying that he was doing Uber Eats in Tijuana. I thought that was so cool. <laughs> Oh, lot, Drew. Take mailbox picks sometimes. Yeah, right, Jim. We, uh, you and I and Drew, we haven't seen each other in a long, long time, have we? We've all been live streaming all day long. Well, Jen ain't live streaming, although she should. <laughs> Jen needs to get invited to a challenge and she can do her spark stuff be on on video on a live stream next goal is to get dinked to a thousand amen and uh, and all all of our guest stars who haven't hit a thousand yet uh, Faith Sonny drives for you and Terry's trips tips talk and dashing in Cyprus and Oh, I'm sure there's more. Josh, uh, Devious Dasher. We need to get them all over a thousand. Because once you get over a thousand, everything's cool. Uh, what does that say? Christopher, hey, just found your videos. They're so much fun. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, buddy. Thank you. And thanks for joining our live stream. <laughs> We are wise to be on this app. It's a great tool. Yeah. Yep. I agree. If you're talking about YouTube. Yeah, it really is. And we probably should all be making money off YouTube and Instagram and TikTok and everything else. Um. <laughs> no comment, Emmett. I don't, I don't discuss politics. Hey, who is that? Three sacks? Okay. Okay. It's an app called Dispatch. Okay. Yeah, we're going to meet up, three stacks. Yep, well, I'll, uh, I'll treat you to something at Stephens. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Um, Nisi's not been waiting all day for this live. Well, thank you. Hey, there's Eric. What's going on, Eric? How you doing, buddy? That's uh, the Stardashians, by the way, y'all. That's his YouTube channel, the Stardashians. Eric, Eric does... I think, if I'm not mistaken, does lots and lots of live streams on his YouTube channel, doing gig apps. Hey, Rebecca Nally, I'm doing great. How are you doing? Good to see you, Rebecca. Thanks for joining the live stream. Brady Lady, we love seeing you every day, but you don't need to do the live streams next week. Well, except the Wednesday. <laughs> Good cow. Oh no, Gig Gal and Three Stacks are in a war. All right, y'all. Y'all are crazy. Y'all can stop doing that. Uh, but I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, Brady Lady, I'm going to try to press on through Saturday, and then I might chill out a little bit after Saturday. See if I can hit this goal of mine. <laughs> That's right, Three Stacks, you don't. I see, I see, not only do I see your comments every day on my videos, I see your comments on lots of people's videos. Seems like every video I watch of anybody else's, I see Three Stacks comments. And by the way, Gig Gal's got a new video tonight that I haven't had a chance to watch. Hey, there's author DJ Siegel. We never get tired of watching you. We are inspired by you. Well, Thank you, DJ Siegel. I appreciate that. Oh, and I, I keep meaning to check to see if he's got a channel. Because I think I saw something that indicated maybe he does. 
Look forward to your Wednesday wind downs with Chuck, with Chuck Chat. The Chuck Chat. Thank you, Badger. I appreciate that. Hit that like button, y'all. Yep, we all love three stacks, y'all. He is a he is a big supporter of all y'all's channels. Sonia, not tired of watching. Grateful for all your videos, for your time and hard work. I appreciate that, Scott. Sonia. Thank you so much. Thank you, Three Stacks. All right, so, yes, I will know next Wednesday that this is not the most comfortable position right here with the <laughs> with the phone mounted up high like this because i got to raise my arms to scroll and my arms are getting tired. If anyone gets tired of watching, they have the freedom to not watch. That's true. That's true. Good point. I, I guess I put out all the videos I want. If you're tired of watching, you just don't watch that one. <laughs> if, if you're ODing on me. <laughs> Braided lady, I wish I was still dashing. I would be a guest star. Yeah, that would be fantastic. You probably could still do it. You could, you could probably still turn on some gig apps and be a guest star. That would be awesome. We'd love to have you. Hey, there's Just Roy. How you doing, Just Roy Delivery? Good to see you, buddy. <laughs> I, I was just watching a little bit of puppet, puppet action earlier today. <laughs> Hey, there's Grace. What's going on, Grace? Man, I am not even going to attempt to pronounce that last name, Grace. <laughs> Phrygenic, just like it's spelled, or Phryonic. Anyway, good to see you, Grace. I fall asleep to your videos at night all the time. <laughs> see, I should have a playlist you can fall asleep watching. Then it would just play all night long. Hey, there's Brian. I watched Brian live stream today and then I watched his premiere video today. Yes, better late than never. Drop by any time, Brian. You're always welcome here. <laughs> Good, Roy. Just chill out, buddy. Relax. 30 minutes of daylight to mow some lawn. Be back later. Good for you, Badger. I've I've uh, cut my grass once this spring, and it's it's time. It's getting a little shaggy. I'm gonna have to find time to cut it again. Maybe I can hold off till after Saturday. <laughs> what does that say? Barbood. Hey, Parboot. Welcome to the live stream. Good to have you here. Hey, Candace Berry. Welcome to the live stream. Princess Anasara. How you doing? Getting rain all day tomorrow. I haven't checked, but I, I bet I'm getting rain tomorrow. Because I heard it was raining in Atlanta. Uh, Barboot, I'm doing great. I hope you're doing great. Everything's going great with me, Grace. Except I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> Thank you, Barboot. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, I'm cool, y'all. Pretty sure I just delivered to Charlie Brown's teacher. <laughs> womp, womp, womp. Uh, I know, everyone is here, Roy. This is cool. We got the whole gang. Uh, hope you do more night shifts. Yeah, I would like to. What I, what I got to do is not try to do a night shift after I've already worked the lunch shift. Some someday, you know, now that it's daylight longer, I'm gonna have to just chill out at the house and relax, and then go out and do a dinner shift. 
it was kind of fun, y'all. But I mean, the orders were better for sure. Yeah, I did. I, I only did it for an hour. I just wanted to see what the orders were like, and they were pretty good. Although I did get a couple of garbage orders offers. Uh, what does it say, Dahlia? Hey, Dahlia, welcome to the live stream. Good to have you here. You're a very cool man. Please answer my comment. Yes. Uh, oh, Barbu, by the way, um, <laughs> people who uh, have been to these Wednesday night live streams a lot know I'm always like 15 minutes behind reading the chat. I guess that's just kind of what we do here on Wednesday night. I just read the chat and it's very entertaining, but I always get way behind. Um, hey, Chuck from LaGrange, Georgia. How do you, how you doing, Jody? I've passed through LaGrange a few times. I actually did a little bit of college work uh, at my undergraduate, like just one quarter. We did quarters back then, a little bit of college work in Columbus, Georgia. A few classes, like three classes or four classes or something. I've been to Columbus, Georgia a lot, but uh, I've, been, I've been through LaGrange a couple of times. Hey, Emily Elizabeth, how you doing? Good to see you. Man, we got a bunch of deleted messages. <laughs> Drew's getting a workout tonight. Take him some time, Barboot. He gets behind, yes. Thank you for answering, Barboot. Yes, I do get way behind on the chat. Okay, here's what I need to see. Rookie Dasher getting rain in Atlanta is an understatement right now. Pretty sure I need a boat. Okay, so that means tomorrow I'll be getting rain. Always happens that way. Dang, that's a lot of comments deleted. Michael Souls, what's going on, buddy? Um, does your Honda sit low? It's not hard to get in and out of. It kill, yeah, the, the fit sits a little higher up than like a Civic or an Accord would. Um, you know, it's kind of like a little station wagon type thing. I, it, it sits up a little higher. Um, but yeah, it's not bothering me right now. But who knows as I get older. Yeah, there's Pasmore, whose comment I happen to see over here and answer. The knees right now aren't bothering me. I just ate a yum apple as a snack. That's a good thing to eat as a snack, Grace. No sloppy joe. Oh, man. Now my stomach's growling and I want some sloppy joes. <laughs> You know, I had this thought this evening. I was thinking, wouldn't it be cool if during this live stream, if I left Uber Eats on and I got one of those crazy, you know, like $30 orders and I just took the phone with me in the car and went and delivered an Uber Eats order during the Wednesday night live stream. I might do that one Wednesday night. Just, just keep Uber Eats on and if I get one of those wild orders, just grab the phone and jump in the car and take y'all with me and go deliver an Uber Eats order. That would be kind of fun, I think. Okay, so Debbie Free says 30 seconds, and Drew told me he thought it was 30 seconds. Counts as a view. Sloppy Joe's with trash cheese is delicious, <laughs> I bet. Yes, if Eric, I need my knees replaced, especially my left knee, but you know I'm putting it off. Here they're great after a few months of healing. Yeah, yeah. Y'all, probably of all the people I've talked to who have had knee replacement, it's probably like 85 or 90% per percent say it's the best thing they ever did in their lives. And like 10 or 15% really had a hard time with the, uh, with the recovery and the uh, rehab and all that stuff. I, I see you are, Drew. I appreciate it. <laughs> hey, Dakota, what's going on? You subscribed? Awesome. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Made 11. Wait, Rookie Dash, are, are you out, like, dashing right now? Or are you home? Thanks for watching. Sleeping or not? Yep, all good on ours. Okay, good. 
Good, Josh. Signed up for AdSense today. Cool. Good deal. That's awesome, Josh. Good for you. <clears throat> Becoming a new me. Have you got your plaque yet? No. No, you don't get a plaque until you have 100,000 subscribers. I'm a long, long ways away from that. <laughs> uh, Maria says you're a nonce. Not sure what a nonce is. <laughs> oh, okay, Bill, was that you that told me to use round and round? Yeah, six o'clock tomorrow evening. We'll have round and round by rat. Watching from the greatest country, is that the United Kingdom, Oliver? That's awesome. I guess that's what the flag looks like to me. <laughs> That is awesome. What in the world time is it in the United Kingdom? Like four in the morning or something? Horrible to see a 14 minute Skynet. I knew you would be mad, but it's all I had. It's all I had. It was dead out there, man. I'll put your videos on a continuous loop before going to bed. Awesome, Matt Dogs. Thank you, buddy. Wait, somebody timed out Sunny? That had to be some kind of mistake. Three stacks. This is from Gig Gale through me because I can't quit Super Chat with her. What? Oh, three stacks, dude. Save your money, buddy. I appreciate it. I know Skynet. I'm sorry about that. Um, I just didn't have any material to make a video out of. Wait, are you, Gigo, you telling me to download CapCut? I like my Luma Fusion a lot. <laughs> I've got to make it or break it gold tomorrow, money wise. All right, Debbie, cool. Oh, well, I hope you make it. Yeah, the pug snores. <laughs> okay, so Sonny timed somebody else. He didn't get timed out. Yeah, we want to know, Debbie. What's your goal? Whoa, who did that? Mary. Holy cow. Holy cow, Mary. Thank you. Holy smokes. Holy cow. Okay, I'm going to assume that Mary is very wealthy. <laughs> wow, thank you, Mary. Holy cow, I've never, never gotten a super chat like that before. <laughs> uh, did my son, no, Sandro. And by the way, welcome to the live stream, Sandro. I thought he was in. I, I misspoke. I, I uh, jumped the gun on that. He, he was in, except they found a ticket on his driving record for holding his phone in the hand, in his hand while driving. And so Spark said, nope, you ain't working for us. Hannah says, apparently I'm a little backwards tonight, Sonny. You only got three hours of sleep. Oh, that's not enough, Hannah. Three hours is not enough. <laughs> is this, Fuark, is he the guy who always used to comment and say, and call me D Doug? That's awesome. Anyway, uh, it's Chuck Fuart, but I'm not offended. I, everything's going great, buddy. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Um, oh, you can? You can hit play all and then leave the house or go to sleep? <laughs> yeah, the Cash App shirt, Josh, absolutely. And, you know, you can go on, uh, Josh, Devious Dasher, you can go on Teespring or... or uh, uh, spread shirt or even maybe a local place and have them make you up a couple of t-shirts with your cash app. I'm sure they would pay for themselves quickly, probably. Um, but yeah, I thought it was a pretty cool idea if Wesley ever, he, you know, he said he was going to live stream a lot on this channel or on his own channel or whatever. And I said, we'll get you some shirts made up with your cash app in real big letters. <laughs> 
You never know what folks will spend their money on. <laughs> That's right. Hey, little B, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you. That's our buddy, little B. It's Wes's stripper on the side. <laughs> um, not that I know of, and if he is, I don't want to know about it. Wes loves to fish and crab. That's his passion. And he can actually support himself doing that. He's a hustler. He'll he'll find restaurants and, and seafood markets that'll buy the, the fish and the crabs from him. Um, <laughs> oh, Drew says he accidentally timed out Mary. Oh, no, Drew. <laughs> Billy Bob, what's going on, buddy? Welcome to the live stream. Ashley puts his cash app on a shirt. Make sure he puts begging for money above it. Heck yeah. Y'all's chat while the video was frozen. All right, here's what happened. I hit some, I was scrolling through the chat and hit something. And it took me like to my YouTube homepage or something. Anyway, am I, am I back, y'all? I think I'm back, and I think I think I'm down at the bottom of the chat. <laughs> I think, am I back? Somebody tell me if I'm back. Give me a thumbs up if I'm back. I think I'm back. Okay, I'm back. Thank you, Chris. Man, y'all, my thumb hit something, and I lost the live stream. <laughs> It'll take 15 minutes before you realize it. All right, thanks, y'all. We're back. Somebody somebody said Chuck got his $99 and said, that's good enough, I'm going to bed. <laughs> what, you kept hearing, heck yeah, no problem, over and over. When, uh, when Rookie Dash, I've never seen it happen on any other live stream, but when Rookie Dasher... Um, gets to an area where he has a weak signal and, and his live freezes up. Does anybody else get this? It's like a broken record and he keeps saying the same thing over and over again. Um, I, I don't know. Should I scroll up on the chat, Sonny? Uh, Stoner's Code. I said he probably went to the liquor store and grabbed some beer. <laughs> Hey, Monster Dash, how you doing, Monster? Good to see you, buddy. Zay the Great. Hey, were you in the Army? No, my father was in the Army and my younger brother was in the Army, but I I never served. I kind of regret it, um, but I, I never did. <laughs> oh, oh, no, did Mary mean to send me 99 cents? Mary, we will refund you if you did. <laughs> oh, that would be horrible. Once you go to a page, did that a few times, yeah. I can't believe I've managed to find my way back to the live stream. Y'all were y'all were saying some hilarious stuff while I was frozen though. <laughs> yeah. Mary broke the law for sure. <laughs> His phone must have died. No, my big fat thumb hit something. I don't know what. Maybe I could. I could just go to the bottom and get caught up. I'm scrolling up now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was the funny thing. Nisi said, did, did Drew time Chuck out? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Does anybody else have a frozen chuck? R.I.P. He has passed. <laughs> oh, man, y'all are crazy. Oh, yeah, what was this that I saw? Uh, B.Y. had my largest order yesterday and had to tell someone $80.99 Chipotle order. Five of the huge catering boxes, $72.99 tip. Wow. Uh, thank you, B.Y. I appreciate that. That That's fantastic. Thanks for telling all of us. 
Yeah, that beats my biggest one. My, my biggest catering order payout, maybe 50 bucks or something like that. I mean, which is obviously fantastic, but man, 80 bucks. Hey, BY, did you feel like, uh, y'all, sometimes when I get some huge payout on an order, do you ever feel a little bit guilty? Like, man, I don't really deserve that much money for what I did, though the amount of work I did. <laughs> I feel that way sometimes. <laughs> K Womp, just wanted to check in, calling it a night. Be safe out there. Thank you, K Womp. Thanks for dropping by. All right, I'm going to chuck Grayson well. I'm going to try to get down to the bottom here. Hey, Khabib from Russia. Thanks for dropping by our live stream. Grandpa Chuck, did you remember me yesterday? Deputy... I, man, I don't remember, Deputy. It, it, yeah, wait. Are you the one that asked me if I if I would be your grandpa? <laughs> that was pretty funny. That was pretty funny. I have to admit. Stutter's cut. I'm divorcing Mary now. That was for our bills. <laughs> oh, y'all are crazy. Y'all cracked me up. Now Chuck is issuing refunds. Yep. He'll get behind again. Yes, I will, Faith. <laughs> DoorDash troll that's a hater and takes two dollar orders to comment you froze on. Go from here on the chat. Yeah, let me try that. Never feel guilty, Nisi says. Makes up for the no tip orders. I do though, y'all. I have to admit, sometimes when I get some huge payout, I feel like Man, I didn't do enough work to deserve that. <laughs> I do take some odd ones sometimes. Hi, Logan Bailey. Man, I'm glad the live stream didn't just completely end. <coughs> yeah, Kabib, will you be my grandfather? Yeah. That was you, Deputy. Yeah, I remember that. That was funny. It cracked me up. <laughs> oh, that was funny. All right, y'all. I'm caught up on the chat now. That never happens. What does Dink have to say? Kind of felt weird being at the park today. You were back at work at the park. What do you know? What do you know, Dink? Y'all, I, I sent Dink a text. I felt so bad. I I was live streaming and I was picking up from Dairy Queen and the lady asked me how the contest went. Um, the lady that worked in there, cause I had been in there while Dink and I were having our contest. She asked me how it went. I explained that my, my buddy in Michigan beat me by $7. And then I didn't even realize I said it until I got home. And then I was editing video and I couldn't believe I said Michigan. It's Minnesota. Someone wanted me to buy some cigarettes today. Um, you can't do cigarettes on DoorDash, can you? Hannah keeps dozing off. Yeah. Yes, you need to go to sleep, Hannah. Three hours sleep is not enough. Charlie from Wagon Train. Like the old show from the 60s? Man, I haven't seen Wagon Train since I was a little boy. Uh, Faith, I'm just having uh, some kind of a beverage here. Uh, <laughs> um, my nine-year-old mother might watch this. Why is your home base a Taco Bell instead of a pleasant little park or something? I, I, you know, I don't know. That's a good question. The Taco Bell is just kind of right there with Moe's and Panera and uh, Zaxby's and a whole bunch of restaurants around there. But yeah, that would be nice to sit in a pleasant park and wait for orders. I never thought about that. And I don't know that it really matters how close you are to the restaurant. I don't know. You guys beat us once already, Korean translation. <laughs> Khabib, I've been just fine. Thank you. 
Beyond Tan. Oh, we're talking politics there. I will not get involved in that. Um, you don't have to. You don't have to. Um, you don't have to knock them on the head with a wrench if they talk politics. I just, I'm just not going to engage. How many times a week do you eat roadkill? Um, I have actually, I promise you, I have in my lifetime known some people who would eat roadkill. I've never had roadkill, but I have. I have known some people who would uh, who would actually eat roadkill. I suppose if it's fresh roadkill, there's nothing wrong with it, right? <laughs> hey, Jill. Yeah, so this live stream must be getting lots of uh, views like the, the live streams do when I'm dashing because we're getting some crazy stuff in here. Jim says, I love you. Thank you, Jim. I appreciate that. Yeah, DoorDash tells you you accelerate too fast. They did me too. They, All my stuff was in the red, my acceleration and my braking. But then the last couple of days, I've been in the green because they say I'm doing better than I was a couple of days ago. I hate that, y'all. I don't want DoorDash monitoring how I drive. I don't like that one bit. Don't piss off your DoorDash support agent. They can mess with your orders. Yeah, yeah, good point. I think. I think if you like yell at them, they can get you deactivated. Um, black t-shirt. Cool. Thank you. Three stacks. That's awesome. What good gal. You just typed Chuck. What's my favorite dish at Cracker Barrel? Man, Jill, probably just about anything they serve. I, I don't, my wife and I almost never, ever eat out. We prepare our meals at home. Well, Anyway, um, but I've had some good stuff. Probably, do they have like some kind of Eggs Benedict? That's what I would like to chow down on right now. I love Eggs Benedict. Khabib, sorry for bad grammar. Not used to typing. I say, oh man, no problem. That doesn't bother us at all. <laughs> oh, they texted you and asked you to pick up some cigarettes on the way and you said no. <laughs> and they canceled their order. That's funny. Uh, Elizabeth, my day was okay. Um, it was good. I, I didn't make a lot of money. I made, uh, like I made like 60 something dollars came out to like $18 an hour, which is less than I'm accustomed to, but we still had fun. We did a long live stream and got lots of views and lots of new subscribers and stuff like that. So it was, overall, it was a good day, even though the money wasn't fantastic. The Courier, good evening. How's it going? What's the topic? Well, The Courier, it, you, it might be a little boring. Uh, we're all DoorDashers, um, Uber Eats drivers, Walmart Spark drivers, Instacart shoppers. And um, I have a YouTube channel where we do DoorDash type stuff, food delivery, grocery delivery. And most people in here do that stuff too. And every Wednesday night, we just sit around and talk. Um, <laughs> so you might find it a little boring, but who knows? Eating any good salads? Yes, I have. I, I had a salad today. I had my favorite, the Southwestern style market side, big old salad from Walmart. And it was delicious, let me tell you. Really delicious, not kidding. And I have a big giant smoothie for breakfast. No, Mr. Church, I'm pretty sure you cannot order. You can order all the beer and wine and liquor you want on DoorDash, but no cigarettes. I kind of don't think you can on Uber Eats either. Have I caused roadkill a few times? Uh, does squirrel count? We don't have a deal with the squirrels, you know. Um, squirrels are on their own. We don't. We don't swerve and break for squirrels. Um, I did I did hit a dog one time and I felt horrible, but there was nothing I could do. I was in heavy traffic. He ran right out in front of me. Nothing I could do. High winds in North Atlanta tonight, no dashing for me. I hear you, fireproof. Another Russian in here. How's it going, Wasmokis? How's it going in Russia tonight? 
<laughs> no, I, will, I don't think I'll eat roadkill if I get a million subscribers. Uh, no, that's a good question, Bill. We have had a ham bone and a butter bean. And now that word you just said, I don't want to say her name and wake her up. But I think somebody else asked me about getting another pub named Gravy. That would be kind of cool. The Courier just found my channel. I appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. Don't ask you about your driving stats. <laughs> How do I feel about Earn by Time? Ultimate Elite, I've tried it a couple of times and just did not enjoy it at all. Um, you know, I'm going to really try to avoid ever doing Earn by Time. It, some people like it. Some people make good money on it. The couple of times I did it, I did not like it. I just didn't enjoy it. Yeah, Big Carl says earned by time should be a crime. <laughs> yeah, the crack. <laughs> DoorDash never gave me any driving warnings. Grubhub booted me for driving too fast. Wow. How about that? You know, I've, I've never seen anything like that on DoorDash until just the last few days. They started doing this stupid thing where they tell me if I'm accelerating too fast or braking too hard. <laughs> My ex-husband hit a squirrel while he was driving, brought it home and cooked. It. No way. Oh, yeah, that would have grossed me out too. I mean, I, I suppose technically there's nothing wrong with it. But yeah, that that, that would gross me out. Does Walmart know if you make a wrong turn it inside the store? I don't know. Maybe. I do not know. <laughs> Eggs Benedict. <laughs> uh, all right, Hannah, go to sleep. <laughs> go to sleep, Hannah. I think we lost three quarters of the chat earlier, probably. So sorry, y'all. If you said something really profound and I missed it or something really funny. Uh, just got the driving stuff today. It's all green. What do you know? No, mine is definitely not all green. Mine was all red. The first time I saw it. Now it's turned green just because I'm doing better than I was. Not on purpose, but I think I drive a little slower when I'm live streaming. Yeah, yeah, me too, Rookie Dasher. I got to watch Mr. Church's latest video. I saw it pop up about half an hour before I went live. And, you know, I have to kind of get in the zone for a little while before I go live. That would be great, three stacks. We'll put you on camera wearing your Dash It Across America shirt. That would be awesome. Okay, so the courier does Uber and DoorDash. On his home time, currently a full-time truck driver. Oh, wow. Cool. Yeah, the courier. I was, a, I was a truck driver for eight weeks. I wasn't cut out for it. You got to have nerves of steel for that. That's right. A little extra cash definitely never hurts. Giving the baby a bath. Hands are wet. That's why I just typed shot. <laughs> Good grief. Am I way behind on chat again? Uh, Jill, serious question. Why do you do a gig job like DoorDash and not get a more traditional job? Well, for me, Jill, I had a traditional job for 35 years and I'm retired. So I just did this for fun. But um, that would be a, a good question to ask a younger person. Some people like, you know, some people just aren't cut out for the nine to five and answering to the man, you know, um, and, and this is a, a good thing for them to do. They don't have to clock in every day and do everything a boss tells them to do and all that. Okay. So somebody answered, Jill, I'm retired. Yes. Chef Wax produced it. That'd be crazy if the ATF investigated it reads. Um, is Terry in here? Hey, Terry, if you're in here. 
I'm going to wear my DAA shirt when Chuck comes to Florida. That's right. Yes. Okay. Jen heard me say we don't have a deal with the squirrels. I was wondering if you were still here, Jen. I was going to say something about Faith's husband bringing home a squirrel. I was going to ask if, uh, if they flew in tiny little instruments to operate on the squirrel. <laughs> okay, so nieces, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people have reasons like that. Um, I, I actually have a niece who I think should be doing DoorDash and Uber Eats because uh, she has some medical problems that make it hard for her to hold a regular scheduled job. But she has, you know, she has good days and bad days. And on her good days, she could go out and make some money doing DoorDash, Uber Eats, whatever, hence the cart. And on her bad days, she could stay in bed. And, you know, it's hard to do that with a regular nine to five job. Hey, Sheila, how you doing? <laughs> good to see you, Sheila. Oh, no, you hit a dog on Sunday. That's all awful. Andrew Faulkner, DoorDash has gone completely trash in my area. Man, I hate to hear that. I tell you what, the last couple of days in my area have not been great. Yeah, I know that one time I had a dog, man. I felt sick of my stomach. I felt so bad for that poor doggy. Tried to work for DoorDash once and the people were very rude and not pleased and they don't understand my accent. Yeah, I get that. I get that. Yeah, people can get upset if if everything doesn't go just right with their food. Wonder if I'm about time works well in cities where there are a lot of traffic jams, probably. Although my theory on uh, earn by time is I don't know. I don't know how high the pay on earned by time can go. My theory is we're all working for tips, whether we're, we're on earn per order or earn by time. It's the tips that are going to make you or break you. Hey, there's Woods World. Is this going to be a late night live dash? <laughs> Maybe if I get one of those crazy Uber orders. My fave Seinfeld episode. Man, yes, that is so hard. You know, if you had asked me a few years ago, I probably could have told you right off the top of the right off the top of my head. Um, you know, the one where George was in the swimming pool is a classic. Um, where they're all in the Hamptons. That's the, reparations. Uh, that's a classic. That might be my favorite. I don't even remember what it what that episode is called, but the one where George was in the swimming pool. Is uh, you know, and of course, everybody loves soup Nazi, and uh, they're all great, just about. I love me some Seinfeld, y'all. But yeah, I was in the pool. Is that's might be the best one. <laughs> you might have to resort to her by time, Brian. Hi, Chuck. I deliver cigarettes from 7-Eleven all the time in my area. What? Same process as alcohol. What? All right. I know how to fix it now when my thumb accidentally touches something. Um, so wait, what was that? You deliver cigarettes all the time. You're in the UK, right? Let me find that. <laughs> Got to catch up. Yeah, they, they just started like two or three days ago telling me how I'm driving. Smallest thing I've ever had to... I delivered one bag of potato chips one time. Uh, Dink's got to get up early and go to work. What a bummer. See you, Dink, if you're still here. Good to see you. What was that? I want to see the comment about delivering cigarettes. How far up do I have to scroll? Anyway, I think the guy, that's maybe the guy that's in the UK. All right, I'm about to have to give up on this scrolling. <laughs> yeah, you got to have nerves of steel. Mary, you never could do a W2.
Yeah. Um, yeah. You know what? I always, Nisi's, when I go to YouTube, want to watch some videos. All right. I give up y'all. I'm so far behind on chat. When I go to YouTube and want to watch some videos, I always uh, go to my subscriptions page. But every once in a while, I'll be just on the regular YouTube homepage and I'll see, you know, some video that looks like it's a DoorDasher or something. And it's somebody I've never heard of. And I'm like, man, I kind of want to watch a little bit of this and see who this person is. And if I want to keep, you know, subscribing and keep watching. Oh, wait, in Texas delivering cigarettes? What do you know? Maybe it's, maybe there are different laws in different states about that. <laughs> Badger, I think I would like for my car to smell like pizza. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe in other states you can deliver cigarettes. I know, I know in Georgia you can't. And as far as I know, in Florida you can't. <laughs> yeah, this is the most active chat, Woods World. I know, man. I could never catch up. They've been tracking my driving since October, November. Good grief. I do not like it, y'all. Don't like it. Steve from Rideshare Rodeo was... Talk yeah, I, you know, I thought so. I, thought so. I saw um, Devious... Wait, Rookie Dasher, Brian. I saw a uh, a title of his video that, that uh, DoorDash had crossed the line. And I've been meaning to go back and watch it. But I, I, I just knew from the title that that was probably what he was talking about. Okay, so this, yeah, this guy's in Texas and delivers cigarettes. What do you know? That's amazing. Knocked out some late lawn mowing in. And the neighbors love you. And you're back. Way to go, Badger. You must have a small lawn. <laughs> yes, Drew, I did break it again, but it was I, this time I remembered how to get back. Oh, Scottette, you're a Seinfeld fan? Episode 7, Season 6 is by far the best. What's the, what's the name of it? Now i got to know. Or I'm going to have to Google it. Episode 7 of Season 6. <laughs> Yeah, shrinkage. <laughs> oh, I'm just, I'm just now. Now that you say that, I'm just thinking of lines from that episode that crack me up. I, I don't know if I can say them on a family program like this. <laughs> F. Herrick says, "One stick of makeup from Sephora." Went to a teenage girl with about twelve other packages waiting on her doorstep. <laughs> you think she was an OF girl? Oh, okay. Now I know what OF is. Okay, that makes sense. She can probably afford to order one stick of lipstick or whatever. One tube of lipstick. Okay. Where are we at? What is this live all about? Um... Fifth Kai, we are mostly all DoorDashers and Uber Eats drivers, Walmart delivery drivers, Instacart shoppers, and we're just sitting around hanging out. Okay, uh, I'm still confused why cigarettes... Well, hey, I totally agree with you about the cigarettes. If you can deliver booze, why not deliver cigarettes? But, you know, who knows? I don't know why. It, I don't see why it's any different. you got to be, you know, 21 or, or whatever and have your ID checked for either one. Hey, Greg Jones, what's going on? Um, let's say Shimsa. I had two Hudson Grill orders today. At first, they smelled delicious, but a few miles later, it smelled terrible. That's funny. <laughs> I don't even know what Hudson Grill is, but that's funny. It smelled great at first, but started getting on your nerves. You're so right. I do DoorDash full-time because I just can't handle the bosses. 
everywhere and missing one shift, you're fired. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, some people just, some people just don't want to work for the man. Yuck on the pizza cologne. <laughs> Turn on airplane mode as you drive and they won't be tracking anything. Yeah. You know, one time I turned on airplane mode and Uber sent me a notification and told me to turn airplane mode off. I swear that's true. Uber notified me and said, please turn off airplane mode. I don't know how they did it. Um, uh, maybe the app did that itself without, without it coming in over a cell phone signal or anything. I, I don't know, but the Uber Eats app detected that I had airplane mode on and asked me to turn it off one time. Kind of freaked me out a little bit. Ooh, had to deliver crawfish for eight miles in 90 degree weather. Ooh, ooh, that does sound a little bit nasty. <coughs> I mean, I, I have eaten crawfish. Uh, they're kind of like little tiny lobsters. And as far as I'm concerned, they're too much work, but they taste good. Seafood is the smelliest, yeah. I <laughs> uh, know I'm so far now now I'm just kind of skipping around the chat randomly I wonder if I can figure out where I left off where it's y'all it's about time to end this thing anyway <laughs> do I like pop bands uh and not so much not so much. Um, I like all kinds of strange music. My, my recently, the last few years, I've really been into country music. This live is about to get to a million views. That's right. <laughs> oh, deliver y'all. I haven't yet ever been asked to deliver live crickets or anything. I'm kind of dreading that ever happening. Justin Beaver. <laughs> Fireproof, you got some limbs down in Cobb County? <laughs> Hope your trees stay vertical too, rookie. Um, JF Trucker got fired from DoorDash down in St. Pete, Florida for eating the customer's food. Well, yeah, yeah, you shouldn't be eating the customer's food unless they cancel the order after you pick it up. Then it's anything goes. I have a friend that DoorDashes on his motorized bicycle. Yeah, yeah. Um, one of our buddies who was in the chat earlier, I'm pretty sure, I don't know if she's still here, um, uh, Ms. Grind and Fitness, she delivers on an e-bike. Who's Dave's 390 Adventures? Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is where we all just kind of hang out, socialize. Hey, Kyle Anderson, what's going on? Oh, no, your power's been out for 30 minutes. Bummer. That's why we have a generator, because um, our power goes out here so often. We we had to break down and buy a generator. It's not real fancy. I mean, I have to go out there and crank it if the power goes out, but it sure is nice to be able to go out there and crank that thing, and it's just like the power never went out, except we don't have central air conditioning. The, our generator's not powerful enough to run the central AC. Um, it will run a portable. We've got a portable air conditioner that we break out just for power outages. And uh, so I go crank the generator. We have all the comforts of home except for air conditioning. And then we plug in the little portable AC and we can keep one room cold. But yeah, I, man, we hate power outages. They're the worst. Had a DoorDash order from Tractor Supply the other day, luckily. 
It was not the live crickets. Yeah, I, I'm dreading ever being asked to deliver live crickets. Uh, Sheila, you got a generator after a power. Oh, yeah, that big one in Texas. Oh, yeah, that was... Yeah, that was horrible. That was horrible. Yeah, Mary, you know, I think I probably will. I think when we hit a million... Uh, views, I'll I'll probably throw a little live stream and maybe have a bottle of champagne or something. <laughs> generator wouldn't work. You had a generator it wouldn't work when the power went out. Brand oh man, yeah, that wouldn't make me mad. Try to go get my money back. All right, y'all. Do I agree with stem cell research? Um, eh, that's kind of political. I think I'll stay out of it. I don't think I'll comment. Solar panels in a power box? Yeah, I'm sure. But what? Well, how much does that cost, man? Matt had a Lowe's order that included 10 bags of mulch. And you unassigned it. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, F. Eric, that's a great suggestion. Power goes out, just go out DoorDash. Um, your AR is at 18% on DoorDash and 4% on Uber, and I don't take anything under $1.25 a mile. That's a good policy. Or if it's headed the direction I'm already going, yep, good policy. Um, did a dirty stack, all right. 6.7 miles for 1564 combined. That's awesome. That is awesome. Yeah, good point, Woods World. Mulch is usually kind of lightweight, isn't it? I didn't think about that. But you're right. A big old bag of mulch usually doesn't weigh very much. <laughs> Wait, what was, what was that? I'm about to click off this thing, y'all. I'm tired. Electronostucks. I didn't talk. Oh, a long time ago. Um, yeah, dirty sex rock. They did. They did. You got to be careful with them, though. Yeah, well, I don't know. Honda Fit's got a bit of cargo room. I don't know if I could get Tid back in there or not. Hey, Jaden, I'm doing great. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> Hey, Douglas Peoples, man, you just barely made it. It's been an hour and a half, and that's usually when I end it. Good to see you, though, Douglas. Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing another bronze or St. Simons. Wesley's up in St. Simons. I wouldn't mind going up there and doing some dashing in St. Simons and seeing my son. Oh, it's the Masters this weekend? <coughs> Heather and I do enjoy watching golf. We don't play golf. Uh, I think she did when she was like a kid she played with her grandparents and stuff. But um, I don't know, golf is really relaxing and calming to watch. Deliver at night at a college town sometime, Chuck. You'll get invited to crazy drinking parties. <laughs> anyway, good to see you there, Douglas. All right, everybody, I appreciate it. I gotta, I gotta go to bed, y'all. It's, it's my bedtime. <laughs> y'all thanks for joining the live stream I appreciate it y'all have a great night go make a lot of money tomorrow <laughs> you gotta play my videos to your birds I appreciate it good night y'all thanks for coming by here I appreciate it alright y'all I'm clicking the button thanks for watching y'all <laughs>